Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to let uh, people know about a critical uh, thing that I've come across. Uh, this tutorial here, integrating MATLAB with C Sharp. Um, there's three ways of doing it as explained in this uh, demo. Uh, you can do it through this uh, method here. So you just download this file here. Um, so the first method is using MATLAB as an automated server. Now this is going to be slow. Um, second method, uh, using the .NET assembly, so you're using the MATLAB builder uh, for uh, .NET or builder any toolbox. Uh, and this exp assembly exposes the MATLAB assembly example, la 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 la. Now the third way is what I've always been pushing for, but this is really important. This is where you're generating the uh, a, sh a shared library, um, but it's generating it unmanaged code. Now that's a problem. Um, and basically, what happens is it should be noted that the third example is very fragile. Something that's uh, new to me, but I'm glad I caught it here. Is recommended that the method of C sharp and MATLAB integration it has only been provided to emphasize the additional work which becomes necessary to integrate uh, C Sharp with MATLAB when you do not use the builder for .NET. Uh, general solution integrating in MATLAB produce C shared library with .NET but a single purpose solution designed only to work for the example. Upon further uh, inspection it should be clear that the lack of typing when moving from managed to unmanaged code and here's the part, dramatically increases the risk of data handling errors. Lack of intelligent, intelligence, automatic data marshaling, garbage collection are all detractors from this method. Okay, so what does that mean? When you go inside the source code, uh, which is here, um, essentially when you download, look at the source file for uh, C Sharp, you will notice that uh, in here, the comment, uh, you have a user mode ver uh, variable this is the method that you want to use. Uh, that's what they're saying. Uh, this is the method I would have used. Now the first method is just calling the uh, com engine interface which is very slow that's been reported. But this this method right here is the proper way. Um, so let's take a look at what that means. Um, so what we want to look at is this one. Uh, no, uh, mode 2. So Let's uh, load it up. Okay, so this is it here. Um, so this is what I've seen before. Uh, I never really liked the calling of, of, of the code, but um, uh, this is how you do it. So essentially you have to define a numerical array that's uh, compliant with the math works own data types here. Uh, believe me, man, I'm not a happy camper when I see stuff like this. And then you can call the uh, the uh, method or your function in, in MATLAB, and then you get your resulting uh, vectors. Uh, this is something I'm not very happy in doing. Uh, so essentially what they're saying is you got to pack um, with an implicit conversion uh, and then you call the uh, assembly for .NET and then your particular MATLAB function that's generated from your MATLAB uh, .NET builder or builder NE and then you have to unpack the return values. Now the question is performance if it's fast because I have played with it. Um, I'm not a happy camper about that. Uh, so it comes back to what needs to be understood is, is we need to figure a way to generate uh, C++ native code um, because uh, this, this, this kind of methodology is just not going to really work it uh, from my perspective with this, this risk as explained in this, uh, this, this line right here which I just read out. Uh, here. Um, so I'll have to 
do further digging on it um, and uh, see how to how to proceed. Um, but uh, yeah, I might need to stick with this methodology or the second methodology here, um, just because of as it explains here, um, these lack of intelligence sends automatic data marshaling and garbage collection, which could cause a problem uh, when you go live or start doing some real testing with uh, your trading platform. So this this would happen regardless what trading platform you decide to go with, regardless if regardless if it's uh, uh, something like a multi charts or another one, um, you still have to do some kind of um, conversion. Hopefully it'll help you out.